Hello everybody. Uh, just doing the follow-up uh, for my accident with uh, paragliding. Uh, I posted the paragliding videos on my Facebook and then decided to take them down because um, I think that people don't quite understand my situation. So I think it's better that I keep my paragliding accidents off of uh, Facebook. So what I'm going to do is give you a run by run of what I did wrong and uh, also explain why it cannot, why for me it went wrong. So I did my first paragliding flight about a week ago, not even that long ago. Um, it was a very low wind condition, something that I cannot physically cope with, uh, with paramotoring. I must have quite a reasonable wind for flying uh, to aid my takeoffs. And with paragliding, uh, we've learned that that is also the same situation. Uh, my first paragliding uh, takeoff and landing was immaculate. I had everything under control and um, kept in line with my wing and took off. And then I followed the pattern that I was being instructed to follow and then landed without any issues too, right on the money, right on the spot where I was supposed to land. I went straight back to the top of the mountain uh, to do my second para uh, paragliding uh, flight. And that's probably where I went wrong. Uh, first of all, I had landed and twisted my knee a bit in the first flight. But being who I am, I don't know how to stop, when to quit, and uh, I make a lot of mistakes from that. That is something I must stop doing for sure. I'm an idiot. There's no getting over that. Uh, that's why I am. I must learn to take the pain and stop when the pain's too much. Second of all, when I set my, my kite, my wing, I don't do it how other people do it. I cannot physically do it that way. The reason why, once that wing goes above my head, it lightens the load on my legs. That in turn lightens my stump movement inside my sockets and puts my leg in a very strange position. So once I get the wing above me, I then have to very quickly adjust my feet. That takes a few seconds to do. And you can see in the video that I try twisting my body very quickly. I sort of shuffle and then I am told to run. What happened is as I got my wing above my head, it overshot me and realizing that straight away I did some brakes but not very much um, managed to get it into the right position and I started running where I took off there is a double slope the initial slope then there's a very quick drop and then a second slope and then a boulder at the end of the run if you look really really closely I wobble when I run. That is nothing to do with me. That is actually how my legs make me run. I have no weight in them and I have to shift my ass left to right to run. So I've been told by some people which don't understand my disability that um, I run with no balance. It's not that. It's not that I'm running with break. I cannot run like a normal person. They just don't understand that. And eventually they will because they'll learn more and more about me. If they watch my paramotor videos, they see I run exactly the same way. This was also spoken to with my instructor and I explained it to him too. Um, you can see I actually start to get airborne too early. I can't get any power in my legs or in, in the run. And my legs start to take off the ground and I physically force myself down. I try very, very hard to continue running but my body is completely upright. There is a frame, if you was actually to watch, when I get my feet back on the ground, I am physically vertical. At that point, I cannot do anything about it because I have no weight in my legs. And that is where I lost myself. That is the whole point of where I lost my kite. Um, the kite then overtook me again. People will say to me, you should load the wing. You should try and lean into the, f try and be me. Try and have no legs with no balance. My legs have to be loaded. They are springs. So when I am not on my toes, I am flat. You cannot physically run with flat feet. I cannot do it without legs and flat feet. If you try to run flat footed, you'll never achieve a sprint position. Um, so what happened with me? I lost the ability to run and I lost the ability to load my wing. I was not able to get in the position I could have applied brakes, and that is what I should have done. However, it was my second flight. 
I had already lost my balance and I was losing all control of myself in that position and it was actually the last thing I was thinking about because I'd landed and twisted my knee. If you look at the video, you'll see my knee twisted. I never flew the next day because the pain was unbearable. My knee was swollen and my legs were black. The fact is, in a recent accident, about two or three months ago, I had a dislocated knee in my socket and it caused issues with my patella tendon as well. And I just physically and mentally got drained from that. And I think that um, when I ended up upright, I just, I knew I was done. I couldn't get any more speed, I couldn't get any more traction, and the wing overtook me. I was concentrating way too much on my run and not enough on my wing control, and uh, I screwed up. It's a fact it was all my fault, it was nobody else's fault, because what I should have done was stop way before I even tried to take off. I should have stopped. My lesson has been learned, and that is listen to myself. Don't listen to anybody else. Um, when I can't cope, I will stop. I made a huge error, and that's what's gonna happen. I now know that I'm an idiot, and it is what it is. I'm gonna stop um, myself from doing stuff when I know I shouldn't, rather than trying to be the big man. I have to learn to swallow my pride. That's about it, that's uh, just analysis and I really wanted you to all to understand that I knew what I'd done wrong. I went through it with the instructor and we both totally agree with my analysis. I couldn't control my wing because I couldn't control my legs. We've learned something very valuable and that is I need more wing, wind speed to fly. I cannot fly in low wind, I have to fly in more wind. I cannot reverse launch, it will kill my knees. I can only forward launch. It is what it is. I've paid the price yet again, and then I'll move on. Next lesson, next video. Take care.